October 2014 at the K1 World Max 2014 tournament, a controversial fight involving Wakao took place. He faced Enrico Kell in the final. This is the second time that they had fought in the ring, with Wakao having previously defeated him in 2013. There was media coverage regarding betting companies accepting bets on this tournament. Prior to the fight, Wakao made a statement expressing doubts about the fairness of the match. He declared that if he lost, there was a draw, or an additional round was added, it would signify the possible influence of corruption. And he said that he didn't intend to fight a fourth round because of this. As it turned out, at the end of the third round, Wakao was leading the fight on points. However, unexpectedly, the judges called for an additional round. Wakao left the ring, simply exiting the tournament, refusing the championship belt and the contract he had signed with K-1 through 2015. This served as evidence that the K-1 organization did not respect its fighters by conducting unfair matches. November 2014. In this fight, Wakao faced Australian fighter Steve Moxon, renowned for his speed and knockout power. At the end of the third round, Wakao knocked Moxon out with an elbow strike. December 2014. In this fight, Wakao faced Ukrainian fighter Dmitro Konstantinov. The beginning of the first round was calm, but towards the end the fighters started exchanging fierce blows, causing a cut under Dimitro's eye. At the end of three rounds, Wakao emerged victorious. Let go! Six months later, Wakao stepped into the ring against a fighter from China named Yuan Bin. Yuan appeared fearless, responding well to Wakao's strikes delivering numerous high kicks and punches. The bout went the distance of three rounds, and, in the end, Wakao secured another victory by the judge's decision. In June, Wakao returned to China to face Yi Long, known as the Shaolin Monk. ทางโอ้โหแล้วครับคุณนครโดนครับอ้าวไปต่างหากโบขาวล้มไปแล้วครับโอ้โหคนนั้นลุกขึ้นยืนเลยครับโอ้โหเอาครับอุ้ยโบ
However, Bokao's Muay Thai proved to be stronger than Yilong's Kung Fu. Eventually, Wakao emerged victorious, claiming the World Championship belt, according to Wu Lin Fang, 2015. In October 2015, Wakao faced Gu Wei. Wei appeared very determined. But in the first round, Bukao managed to knock him down with a high kick to the head. The fight was temporarily halted due to issues with Bukao's protective gear. In the second round, Bukao delivered powerful knee strikes to the body, finally knocking out his opponent. In January 2016, Wakao faced Liu Heinan. to the body. Liu got up and continued the fight.
the fight was stopped. It was a knockout. Wang took a high kick to the head from Wukao. At the end of the match, Wukao's victory was celebrated by his mother. Three months later, Wukao returned to China to face a fighter from France, Dylan Salvador. In the end, Wakao secured victory over Salvador, earning another Muay Thai World Champion title. November 2016, Wukao faced Yi Long. The fighters had previously fought a year ago at the Wu Lin Fang tournament in 2015, where Wukao won by points. The bout lasted all three rounds, proving to be a closely contested battle, even though Bokao displayed a much stronger performance than Long. Instead of an additional round, the judges controversially awarded the victory to Long. Many believe that the decision had already been made prior to the fight. In a match a month later, Wakao faced Andre Kulabin. Kulabin was a robust and formidable fighter from Belarus and a multiple world champion in Muay Thai. Despite the bruises and injuries he sustained, Andre consistently showed respect to Wakao throughout the fight. He fought valiantly but lost by a decision from the judges. Wakao claimed the world champion title from Andre. In January 2017, Wukao faced a fighter from China named Tian Xin. In the first round, Wukao nearly fell out of the ring after throwing his opponent to the ground. At the end of the second round, Jin was knocked down by Pukau.
the White Lotus dominated the entire fight and ultimately secured the victory by unanimous decision. Hong Feng Sun, the red corner. August 2017, Wakao faced Aziz Halali in the ring. Towards the end of the first round, Aziz fell from a left hook by Buakau, ending the fight with a knockout victory. Thailand, Buakau, In the early stages of the second round, Bukau landed numerous strikes on Luis, including elbows. Due to the barrage of strikes from Wakao, Luis sustained a cut and was knocked down twice. The fight lasted three rounds, with Wakao claiming victory.
However, towards the end of the third round, Wakao started pressing his opponent more, and a few seconds before the bell, the referee stopped the fight. In October 2019, Wakao faced a fighter from the Congo, Chris Nagimbi. <laughs> The fight was supposed to go for five rounds, but in the early stages of the first round, Wakao knocked out the challenger. Three years later, Wakao returned to the ring against Dmitry Varats in the World Fight Tournament 2022. In the very first round, Wakao's strikes caused a cut on Varats. The White Lotus was more active, delivering powerful hits, resulting in a win by decision. September 9th, 2023, Wakao faced Yasuhiro Kido in a kickboxing match at the Legend of Rajadamnern, Last of the Generation. Right 
The bout ended in the third round after Boakao accidentally headbutted Kido, opening a cut on his forehead, leading to a no contest ruling. In the same month, Wakao flew to China to face Wang Yan Long, also known as the Chinese Fighting Dragon. This fight sparked a lot of controversies. Wang Yan Long aggressively started the fight, using unfair strikes which led to a pause in the fighting. After numerous protests, a draw was announced. Long challenged Bokao to a fight under MMA rules, but the question remains open whether Bokao will accept such a challenge. The fight ended with no winner declared, but the promotion would be happy to invite Bokao for a rematch.